extensively upgraded and revived frame, chassis, and bodywork as well as engine. After a successful first decade focused on building the brand, Sherco starts working on conquering the world of racing. In 2010, the brand achieves one of its most important landmarks, with David Casto winning both the World Rally Championship and the first stage of the Dakar Rally with the Sherco SR4.5i. It was the first time that Sherco was participating in a Dakar Rally. The Sherco TVS Rally team as we know it is born in 2015 and makes its first appearance in the Dakar Rally, with Fabien Planet on the helm. We set up a team together. We had already a structure of a team and uh, with the input of TVS it helped us a lot. And uh, we have engine rider, we have uh, engine mechanic, also at the factory during the, during the season. Um, and we collaborate uh, for R&D. We are speaking for R&D because us, we are doing competition product, but they give us experience regarding uh, mass production and mass uh, production testing, uh, how they proceed and all. So it's a real collaboration together. The difficulty with the rally is you need to have a performance, but the reliability. The performance is really easy to have, but the performance with reliability is not easy. And uh, this is the target every year. It's uh, a compromise between performance and reliability. It's the same in Enduro, it's the same in Trial. The story and the idea is to set up a team with an organization that can potentially win in the future. After is to create a product that is uh, competitive with, uh, with uh, the others. Um, and to have a rider that can win the Dakar. In 2016, Sherco officially joins the Big Boys Enduro Club. 14 years after the release of its first Enduro bike, Sherco wins the first Enduro GP title and the E2 Enduro World title, with Matthew Phillips on the helm of the Sherco 300 SEF factory. In the next year, Sherco is expanding even more their production capabilities. They went from a 3,500 square meter plant to a 12,000 square meter plant. Sherco is growing at a blistering pace and the reason behind this growth is quite simple. Basically, uh, we have two activities. We have uh, one activity of uh, real estate and we have uh, Sherco. So we are in two markets. Um, but the real estate was just to assure that we have uh, economic stability. But after, it's quite easy. Uh, we invest, uh, we reinvest in the company all the profits that we can have. It's quite easy. If you want to make a very big project like this, you have two choices. Or uh, you want to make money with it, or you want to have a fast grow. If you not take money from the company uh, you, uh, and you make a good choice, you grow very fast. On the decision, we are alone in the company. There is no uh, shareholder. Why? Is just for one reason is to to be very fast uh, when at we the, take decision at the decision making it. So it's you can take major decisions in uh, in two days if needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We speak the morning in my father. In uh, thirty minutes, uh, we we can take one decision. It's very it's very fast. And this uh, when you have other partners, it's a little bit more complicated. This is uh, this is clear. This is why uh, we want to. Uh, to stay alone. We have a good stability with our real estate activity that is quite big of uh, construction, renting and all. But it's not only item of money. It's uh, you need to have a people and the people is more important than the cash. <laughs> yeah. You need to have a people that, uh, that want to do the best. If you want to do the best, this has no, no value. <laughs> it's super powerful. Someone that wants, that have a wish to do something. That's it. It's, uh, we want to build and all the team here, but the team in Spain or the team in France, uh, they want to create a nice story. And all people join for that reason. Everyone has yeah. the same goal. Yeah, we have the same goal. is to, to make a nice product and make a nice company. Following this philosophy about valuing people, in 2018, Sherco decided to truly invest in its riders for Extreme Enduro. The new kid on the block, Wade Young, had already conquered some podiums under the Sherco brand, while a former Skvarna factory rider, Mario Roman, was in every rider's worst scenario, without a bike for next season. 
the first reason of why we are an extreme enduro, it's opportunity. Opportunity. We had good partner in South Africa. He introduced us to Wade Young. We were checking a uh, possibility to go into extreme enduro and speaking with other riders. And finally, me, I was not aware about who is Wade Young. And we checked the list. But this yeah. guy is better result uh, on big events than the rider that we are speaking with. <laughs> we must discuss with him. And the, uh, and finally, he has done one season like that. And after uh, Mario Jonas, uh, with his uh, great ability for communication, uh, uh, it's it's uh, finally we arrived to have the team with one technical guy and one strong and fast guy. Both are strong and uh, strong and fast and uh, technical, but it's just that some have more ability in some terrain. Knowing that there was great potential on both athletes, the company created the Sherco Factory team, which summed five wins in some of the biggest hard and rural races in the world. In 2019, to end the second decade on a high note, Kiwi rider Hamish McDonald clinches the Youth and Ur World title on the Sherco Racing 125cc. This was the third and Ur World title for the French manufacturer. Later that year, Gascas was on the edge of bankruptcy. Sherco was among the companies that were interested in getting the Spanish company out of that pit. Basically, is to is to take a, a bigger part of the market share in a short operation. So just that, just to increase the the network, the market share. For sure, there is a bit of network, but um, when you make an integration of a competitor, uh, you make more units immediately. Oh, so your goal was to take advantage of their factory as well to to in to Not increase the, no. Yes, we, we we like to do something quite easy. It's um, I cannot go in detail with that. I know. Uh, <laughs> but I cannot go in detail uh, where the plan was to produce which or which bike. The only fact is, uh, gas gas, it's a brand uh, that have done good uh, job at one moment, and. Recently, uh, some mistakes. Uh, to comment if they are good, bad, whatever, uh, if the situation where they had uh, to be uh, to be purchased by one or another is because they had a problem. Uh, I think the brand name is uh, appreciated by the people. Yeah. I think it's not as uh, it was uh, five or ten years ago. This is a fact. Uh, us, we are more a premium brand. Maybe it was a good combination. It was not possible to do. Uh, us, it's quite easy. We want to do something well organized that makes sense. If it go inside this uh, this case, <laughs> we do. We take action about what we need, not what we want. It's really important that if you want to reduce the number of mistakes in life, is what you need and not what you want. The business didn't get through, but other challenges were arising on the brand's horizon. 2019 was also the year that Sherco focused its attention in one of the biggest markets in the world, the United States. Stay tuned to know more about this new chapter in Sherco's adventure.